Welcome my warriors to Spyro Reignite Trilogy. Guys, this is a new gameplay I'm bringing to the channel. Um, it's Spyro, and it's the three, I think, great games of Spyro. I think um, the first Spyro, the Ripto's Rage, and then Spyro Year of the Dragon. Um, I personally only played Spyro Ripto's Rage, and that's the best game I know. So, we're going to start with Spyro 1, and then go to Spyro 2. And then Spyro 3 and I'm thinking how I'm gonna do is I may do one for Spyro 1 another um, one for Spyro 2 and another one for Spyro 3 so technically this will be Spyro 1 and I'm gonna split it up between the different games so let's go ahead and get started accept license agreements and private policy why okay um, what is this? I, 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 next, agree, limited license, residence, what is all this? I don't understand. Why, why do I have to agree to something? Am I using, like, online stuff? Unfortunately, as of September the 1st, 2015, we are no longer offer Activision accounts to Russian-based customers. Okay. Let's, let's just get started, you guys. I don't know what the heck that was. I don't know why I had to agree to anything, but that's weird. Um, also, I'm going to be doing gameplays, um, not gameplays, live streams on Friday and maybe Saturday and Sunday. I don't know. Um, they're going to be on YouTube, so, you know, this one will do for a Spyro 1. And then this one will be like my live streams. And the third one, that's just going to stay empty. But yeah, so this is how it's split up. Spyro the Dragon, Spyro with those Rage, and then Spyro Year of the Dragon. So if I seem like I understand how the level works out more than usual, I may have did a live stream. And I, hopefully I'll be able to pull it up on my channel. I don't usually like to bring videos like that and put it on my channel. But I think YouTube does that automatically. Hopefully we'll do, we'll do better live streams in the future. But yeah, let's do it. Spiral the Dragon. In the world of dragons. Are you gonna move on or... Are you loading or... Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Alright guys, we're in! Yeah, he, he just, all it takes is an insult and bad things can happen. Let that be a lesson to you guys. Not everybody's the same. Ah, oh, okay. So yeah, that kind of sucks. I just fell off. The turn just, the, it doesn't turn like, it turns smoothly, but I need like a quick turn. Let me go to the options, the best part of the game. Controls, vibrations on, controller scheme. Alright, move, point. This is reignited controls, retro controls. What's, what does that mean? Jump, flame, charge. Flame attack? Okay. I don't see... 
The only thing that's changing is the R2. Yeah. All right. Move list. Yeah, all that other stuff. Um, I guess that's it. Let's turn the map on. All right. I guess I guess this is how Spiral One works. Rescued Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. All right, you're just gonna fly off without helping me? Thank you, pixie person. Um, another thing I noticed is there was no subtitles. Volumes. Effects, voice, music reignited, original, reignited, okay. Um, camera on, off, that's fine. Um, what was it? Are there no subtitles? Artisans, Nestor, skill points, all right. Let me check the guide. Wait, oh, that's the guidebook. All right, I guess there's no way to um, put subtitles on. That's disappointing. But I guess that's how we have to play. All right. Everything's so rigid right now. Delbrin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Thank you, person that I do not know. Can we swim? Another thing we cannot swim, because we seem to start drowning as soon as we get in. Right, you've been hit and you've been flamed again yeah I don't like this scheme see I can't turn all right thank you yeah this controller scheme on that scheme more of the control of the dragon doesn't work for me Because so, I've never played Spyro 1, so. This will be that play. This is the open world, also, right? Alright. I got whatever that was. Um, this is Dark Hollow. I'm gonna get all the gems from here. Come back here. Nope. Yeah, I don't see how people can play like this. Um. Still point acquired. All right. Eat them sparks. Eat them all. Why, why did I hold all like that? <laughs> Go back real quick. All right. Argus. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First. You must complete one of the other artisan lands. All right. You know what? I'm thinking I'm just going to call this Spyro the Reignite Trilogy. So I'll do Spyro 1, then Spyro 2, and Spyro 3. And we'll keep it all within the same area. But I'm still thinking, wouldn't it be a better idea just to, you know, have it in different ways 
I still think that's a good idea. Oh, okay. You can't do like you do in Spyro 2. You can hold the run, jump, and then fly. Um, Alright. And my, my run isn't stable. And it seems when we fly, we go down. Yeah, because we just, like, we head straight down. Alright. I guess this is PlayStation 1 type controls. That's what the first Spiral of the Dragon was on. I just hope we can control it better in Spiral 2. This is the Ballooner, isn't he? Yeah, he'll take us to other worlds, but he's the first deal with these. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Alright, all dragons found. It says we need to find ten at least. Here real quick. He seems to move fast, even if I don't have to run. So for this guy. Is he running? Yep, he's still running. There we go. Even though I don't follow him. I have to turn the camera too. Unless I can fix the camera. If I can, let me check real quick. Um, camera, passive, active. What does he mean by active? Yeah, let's change that. Controls. Ignite it. Yeah. Yeah, I like these better. So yeah, they did, they did change it a little bit. But the true test will come um, Spyro 2. I know this whole <laughs> first part of the episode is like getting the controls right, but I need to learn how to play so I don't mess up. I mean, I'll mess up still, but you know, mess up less. There's one up there. Go over here again. Just jump over here. And we've got all the gems, I believe. And we've completed the level. Alright. So I guess we can start off over here. Let's go! Flying, flying, flying. All we're doing is flying. Entering Town Square. And he flaps his wing when I press X. And he turns. Yo! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we're here. That didn't take too long. First level, Town Square. We already have some dragons. Let's go up here. Okay. All right. There we go. Rescue Niels. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. All right. Here we go. And you've been flamed. And you've also been flamed. Don't try me. Let's check. Let's 
those two. Okay, that's how it works. Can we get up from here? Ah, oh, we can't. Or I didn't try hard enough to get up there. <laughs> Maybe we'll get up there somehow. Let's go. And you die. What are those dragon things I'm collecting? Oh. Oh, I've drowned. Here we go again! Reignited. Okay, that took some time, but I guess that's all right. There goes that. And I think you get the enemy lives or souls when you defeat them. So, um, hey, at least it didn't make me go all the way back. There we go. Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Of course, that's what I've been doing. I almost didn't make it over here. You're welcome, sir. All right? Are you okay? Okay. So you were an enemy. You were an enemy. I should just let you die. But I'm a helpful person. Yeah, I see you up there. Don't worry, your time's coming. Alright. Return home. I don't really want to do that right now. Let's see, there's another one. Nah, you can't turn quick enough, could ya? Get out of there that way. Let's go to this. Rescued Alvar. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Okay, that was weird. I don't know exactly who you were talking about. Can we climb in this thing? No. Is there a way to get up here? Return home. Yeah, no. There's some way to get up on these roofs. Let's see. Can I slide from up here. Almost. I fly into the thing when I do that. There we go. Leaf of the wind. Now he's down there. It doesn't matter. We'll get him in time. There we go. That's that. Hey, get back. Oh, the blue, blue thing. That's what he's talking about. All right. Let's see what the dragon says. Four. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. All dragons found. There you go. So I guess we gotta get back to the other guy. Um, we can talk. Let's talk. Hi, Spyro. Uh, no, we'll we'll continue. We're fine. Hopefully we don't, we don't have to get up there, but we probably do. Where 
Where are you? Where are you? Oh, did he jump back up there? Are you serious? Yep, he jumped all the way back up there. Let's try this again. Hopefully we don't miss. So I guess he has one driven path and we have to follow that. Here we go. There you go, got your butt. Did you drop something? Nope. Yes? I don't know. Okay. I want to say that's it, but probably not. Missed it again. Like I said, these controls are very rigid. Let's start that over. Yep. Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Right. We don't want this to take a long time. I can't believe I got the first few times and I can't do it. Is there a way to get over there? I don't know. So I guess that's just to destroy the little guy. Oh, there we go. I was looking for more gems. And we've collected all the gems, yes. Let us leave. Time to go home. Now we have 300 gems. Returning to artisans. Fire boom, play. And we're flapping. We're back. All right, you guys. Time for the next world. So that was there. He doesn't give us anything else. Um, Stone Hill. Flapping and breathing fire as a dragon ship. Hope these these loading screens don't take a long time. Cause the gigabytes for this game are pretty huge, so. And we're here. Alright, there's some things behind me. Water. Fine, fine. Well, let's go ahead and stop you before you start trouble. Nothing. No, they're just running. Stop that. Keep going around the sides. I think that's it. Oh, never mind. Here's a dragon. Rescued Gavin. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. I think there's something we have to collect for that chest. Down there, I'm gonna burn that. Let's go up to the left. 
wait, there's some gems. Let's actually check around and make sure I didn't leave any gems. Pretty sure I got them all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got them all. If I haven't, I'll just check again. Oh, this also works that it's better just to ram through everything then. Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Weren't you the one who insulted nasty Nork, I guess that's what you call? You should be out here helping me. It's all your fault. Well, he wouldn't know that. <laughs> all right. Where to look? Let's see. I don't know. I don't even know why he's trying. Oh, so those are health, like lives. Okay. Look around. There's something down here. Oh, it's a beach. All the gems. Don't go in the water because Spyro can't swim right now. And we have a key that must go to that chest. Glide! Ow, I hit the wall. Alright, let's go to the chest real quick. Hey! Uh. There you go. There you go. Fly now. Alright. So that's there. And that's where the home thing is. So we got one more area. Just back here. I hear you. I see you too. Oh, you ready, Rizzer? Let's go. Yeah, don't try to jump. You're not ready for me. Come on, Ram. You're not ready. None of y'all are ready. I'm a dragon. I was born ready. Oh. There you go. Run. Oh, hold on a second. It's around. There you go. I'm going to stop you. Will you cause more trouble? Alright. I think that takes care of everything down here. I'm not trying to hit those on purpose. But Spark is, so. Let's see. Can I get up there? Big thing. Yeah, I must be able to. Because there's this tower. Oh, and there's a dragon. Nice. Gildas. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Uh, okay, I know the action button There must be some way I can put subtitles on here, right? Controls Move list Menu guidebook flight dive exit flight resume flight loop facing Sparks point to treasure Okay Control scheme retro vibration sound Volume, voice effect, music reignited, dynamic music on, camera, inverted. So was there no way? I guess there was no way for me to actually turn on... Whatever. I don't have a problem with it. It's just that it helps you guys understand what the dragons are saying. I know I'll be quiet during those times, but... If y'all can understand, you know. 
right, return home, that's there. Some more. Well, at least you don't run into things. Like in Ripto's Rage, you run into everything. All right, down here. Here, all around. Let me see. Oh, I can't get up there? Nope. That's down there, so let's go off on this side. Let me check. It's between here. All right, can we? Nope! I just hit myself. Oh, it hurt. Magical energy. Stay away. All right. Oh, hit myself again. Right here. There goes one. It's over there. Can we go further? Maybe hey, we can go further back. Check back here. Yeah, there goes another one. Oh, we got all the gems. Good. Ah, oh, he's too fast. I won't catch him. Here we go. There we go. Dragon egg. We have two. Let me see. We got all that. We got the dragon egg. Did we a hundred? Nope. We still have one more dragon to get. And that's the last one. Why not just go over there to him? We just ran over there. I guess I'll just take this way. Here we go. Astor. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! Nice try. All dragons found. Level 100 percent it. Let's return home. So I guess these are how the levels are done in Spyro 1. They're just like mini levels that have stages connected. The main mission is just to collect the dragons, but we'll be fighting enemies along the way. So then we have one more world to go to. Yep, and they ran away, as expected. Let's see over here. This is where that dragon thing is, right? That must be a door or something. Yeah, look. Toasty. Let's see, that's the door there. Other things over there. There's a door in those groves. Right here, and then this guy's the balloon guy. All right, guys. Oh. I'll call it there. Next time, we'll be going in this grove and doing this area. And then we'll go over here to the big dragon mouth that just opened but guys if you like the video like subscribe also hit the notification bell i believe this game is going to be good i can't wait to play more of it especially reptiles rage with that said you guys i'll see you next time